<clears throat> All right. All right, yo, what up, everybody? Um, I am going to try my hand at some YouTube videos, all right? So, many of y'all say that guides are the way to go, so I'm going to use my several thousands of hours of knowledge, and I'm going to attempt to guide you, if you will. Um, this series um, is more or less just gonna be like compound guides, so I'll basically teach you how to defend, how to attack. I'll throw, I'll show you some like jump spots, some nade spots, some cheeky angles, stuff like that. And uh, you know, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is obviously the first video, and I'm sure it's probably gonna be pretty shite. But you know, the only way to get better at something is to do it. So we're just gonna fucking do it, ain't we? And we've already said one bad word, 30 seconds into the video. Alright, here we go. So, the first compound I chose was Cypress because it's, you know, pretty easy of a map. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start off with defending. Um, I feel like most people have a hard time with defending. But basically, if you're defending Cypress... I'm sorry if you can hear Oscar, he's being a little baby. If you... If you're defending Cyprus, you need to basically get up top. Alright, this can be risky. If you have really bad eyesight and you can't spot people, people uh, then maybe not your play. But, someone like me who can, you know, spot some crazy stuff, I like to be up top. Um, the majority of people will push Cyprus from over here. So, that's one of your main places you'll keep an eye out. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be playing in a trio, so you might want to have like a teammate in there, a teammate over there, a teammate right here. And uh, yeah, you'll basically just, you know, get your 180, 180 covered. Uh, very rarely will people come from this way, unless they're trying to camp extract. But most people come from right here in these trees, and you'll have the occasional people. This is the smart way to push, which I'll, I'll uh, show you guys probably the best way to push this compound. But that way is probably the best. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out there. Uh, once people do get up pretty close though, like, I'm assuming you'll want this... Oh, that suck. You'll want this closed, so they can't just run in. And then the only angle you have to basically hold is there. And you'll hold like a little angle right here, so they can't jump over. It's pretty easy. Um, very rarely will people come from this way, and if they do, I mean, you just, just headshot them, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, if you have a guy in here, he'll obviously be covering all of this, you know? Um, a good angle for this would be right here. You can watch the, the crouch through hole. Hell, you, your teammate can literally just sit here until they push and just pop some guy going through there. If you have traps, you know, you can trap up stuff. Um, for someone pushing, like, range, your best bet is just to let them push you. Not much you can do. Uh, your main middle guy is just going to be kind of like your rotator, right? He's just going to be helping everybody. Uh, this dude over here on this right... This man's got an important job, as he'll probably be uh, getting in most of the shit. He could just sit here and wait for him to come up the ladder, but you know, we're chats, so we don't wait. I'm assuming most of y'all won't be on top though. In that case, I can show you some weird angles from inside. Here's a little trick if most of y'all don't know. <clears throat> you can just go up to the door right here and press F. But yeah, inside you're pretty safe. All you gotta do is keep an eye up there. But ultimately you don't want to give them height advantage. 
Oscar's freaking out. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Good angle is this right here. Kind of where I ran through. You can shoot people. You shoot through these cracks. This compound isn't very good inside. You're kind of at a hard disadvantage. That's why being outside the compound is always better. Um, there is a weird angle you can get up here. You will want to watch this hole right here because you can see a guy will sit up there and he'll try to shoot you through here. Also, if they get above you, they'll just crank you through the floor. So always keep an eye out. If you hear people above you, you can very easily see through the floor. <clears throat> um, yeah, you can get up top here. If you spam. Oh, maybe they fixed it. I know they didn't. Come on, come on, Dennis. Anyways, they might have fixed that actually. Disregard that. Um, a little jump spot right here. Everyone knows that. I say we just do attacking because I feel like that is the bread and butter of this game. No one likes your shit pushed in, alright? Everyone likes to do the pushing. My favorite way to push is from here, the trees. I'm assuming you're probably gonna come from all the way over here. If you do come across this bridge, I obviously wanna keep an eye out in this window, this window, and you're pretty good from here. But you'll basically push up like this. You'll want to watch this doorway. And obviously all of that up top. You're basically just going to LOS them. With the trees. LOS, LOS. Occasionally someone will sit over there. It's stupid of them if they do. But this is where it gets sketch. I don't know why Oscar's freaking out. You basically got to be very careful. Because like they can peek you from all this. So once you know it's basically clear, or you've killed one, hopefully, you'll want to push up this way. You never want to go through there. If you go through there, you're just asking to die. And a big thing about this game is, is info, right? So like, if you don't know where anybody is, it's bad. You want to know where someone is. If you know, you know, all three of them are hiding inside, then you just have free reign, right? Um. But yeah, you always want to push from right here. There's a jump spot I'll show you, but there's a lot of like floor angles. You can get inside this building where you can see people. If they're like camping in here, you'll be able to see them through the floor. But yeah, once you get pushed up, you're gonna jump on top of this little stump. You're gonna jump, you're gonna look right here, and you're just gonna W and vault at the same time. And you just jump right over. It's pretty simple. You will obviously do it in more of a fluid motion, right? Jump. Like that, okay? Easy. And we're inside the compound. Um, I personally like to go up here. See, right here you can see through the floor. You can see through the wall. You'll get in. Say there's a dude up here, like you can use these cracks. You never really want to go peek windows. You're just asking to get cranked. Um, you know, and if, if you are playing in a trio, y'all don't want to go the same way. Make sure y'all go different ways. You're basically just trying to cover, you know, multiple angles. <clears throat> uh, okay, so once you get in here, you basically, right, you can use this angle like I was saying, shoot anyone at the front door, or the back door. You can kill anybody at the top. If there is anybody, which I'm hoping you killed them before you got here. Otherwise, this angle's a little sketch, because, I mean, peeker's advantage, but... But, if you can get on top of them, it's game over. Once you're on top of them like this, assuming they're not super good players, super good players won't let you get up here, but... You can just wall, or like, floor bang them all day, dude. All day. Basically, just gonna be floor banging. <laughs> uh, this is like sketch angle. You can do it, 
I don't like doing it. You know, big thing is knowing what guns they have. If they all have shotguns, then yeah, this angle's fine. If they do have shotguns, be kind of careful with these floor peaks, because they'll just they'll just asshole you through the floor, and it's not fun. Um, a good a good angle that I use all the time is right here. People always or don't watch this, especially if there's a dude all the way down there, right? He's not gonna know you're holding this. But this is also the angle that you can get shot through. So you gotta be a little careful. Game takes practice, you'll figure it out. Uh, another angle's right here. You can kind of see through. A lot of pixel peaks. If you're not good at pixel peaks, uh, work on it. Because it it wins you multiple fights. Um, I can show you this way. This way is pretty good. Um, if not, probably the best way to push. Hope I'm doing good. All right, I'm trying my hardest. So I like to sometimes push for this way. I very rarely do it, even though it's probably the best. Like, like just from here, like ain't nobody shooting you from anywhere, right? You do kind of have to watch right up there, but it'll be fine. People suck. Once you get up here, though, I mean you obviously have to watch there and like the window, right? And then up there but that's why you have multiple teammates unless you're solo solo is a whole different story i can maybe make guides in that later but um yeah you'll see you'll have to hold this window and then see that angle i was telling you about it's so hard to see anybody in there i, I wouldn't recommend crouching through this you're just asking to get cranked so what i'll do is you do got to be careful pushing right here because it's you know fences they can shoot you through that little window that's right there you got a little careful, but if you're fast enough, you can just get behind this, open the door. Right. That door's 90% of the time closed. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, but that window, people sit in all the time. Um, no one's ever up there. I've never seen anyone up there in my entire life of playing this game. Um, occasionally people will sit inside this. Um, you have to be careful. Once again, attacking. You just need info, right? Info, info, info. Uh, so say you push, uh, you know, your teammate's pushing over there, he's doing his thing. Say he gets up, he has all of top control, there's no reason for any of you guys to go up top. Unless you guys are just working them through the floor, then maybe. You obviously want to clear this. A big thing with clearing buildings is just, just doing this. Just looking through walls. You'll learn. You see something like the wrong color sticking out, you just fire. Easy game. Uh, people do hide in this shitter for some reason, I don't know why, but you'll figure it out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Push up, kill people inside. Obviously, you know, you want to keep an eye out behind you and whatnot. But you'll, you'll got it, you got it, I have faith. You're watching me. Um, you know, floor, or wall, wall peaks. I did this map first because, you know, or this uh, compound because it's my first one and, you know, I gotta practice, so it might suck. And if it does suck, I can come back through and do it again. Um, you can, this is a decent angle right here. Um, it's a little sketch uh, because of the, I don't know what that is, fucking wasp's nest. But you can kind of see right here. You obviously won't want to push up this close if you know there's dudes up top. I wouldn't recommend ever pushing from that way, just because you have to run through the water. And never go through that, because you're just asking to get trapped. Um, some nade spots. This, this particular compound doesn't have too many. You can get them through here. Obviously, you can get it through there. Um, but people are pretty good at avoiding nades nowadays. Um, there is one right here that you can get through. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this map, this compound is, I keep calling it map. You can get one through there. This compound's pretty hard to get nades. The dudes are inside this little hut. 
Um, if the door's closed, like, uh, with, with the crack open, you can get a crack through here. Um, I think there's an angle somewhere in here. I can't remember where it's at. It might not be one. You might be able to get one through this little crack right here, and it might kill him. Um, yeah. This is the only real jump spot in this place that I know of. I'm sure someone someone knows better, but I don't really do a bunch of jump crazy jump spots. I'm more of just a straightforward aim 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 person. Uh, let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a way up on top of that. Uh, these videos probably won't be super edited by any means because I honestly have no idea how to edit. I'm just like a monkey with a keyboard, so. Uh, if you want them more edited, I can maybe work on it. Just let me know. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of everything. Oh, another... Okay, start the, start the recording fail. Alright, guys. So, another thing that I should also bring up is while you're defending, um, make sure you keep an idea or uh, a mental note of where your supply crates are and your health packs. Even, like, your lanterns if you're, like, an instant burner weirdo. But you want to make sure you know where all your things are because it just helps rotations, like, you know... Say you're on top of this roof, right, and you get cranked, and you're just like, oh shit, I'm not gonna waste meds, because meds are gold in this game. I'm gonna use this instead, right? Or say, you know, you get shot, that's not there, you're like, okay, fuck, I'm gonna run down here. Med. You know what I mean? So make sure you just keep a, uh, a mental note of where, like, where all your stuff is. You don't want to have to use your meds if you don't have to. Prioritize medkits over bit shots. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, make sure you let me know what compound to do next. Also subscribe and check me out over at Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description. If you have any recommendations for other videos, uh, put it down in the comments as well. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody. I'll catch you next time. Deuces.